Hey everyone! Today, I'm thrilled to share my latest portrait beautification workflow that takes your images from good to gorgeous with just a few clicks. Let's start by checking out the results. Here's the original image, and here's the image after applying the workflow. Notice how the skin looks smoother and more refined, but still natural. This isn't just basic skin retouching either. Take a look at the eyelashes and eyebrows. They're smoother and more defined than before. The hair, which looks a bit messy and dry initially, now has a nice, soft texture and shine. Even the fabric in the clothes looks better. This workflow has some other powerful features too. Take a look at this challenging photo where the face is blurred by smoke. After applying the beautification, the overall image is much clearer, but the facial features haven't been altered. It can also handle noise reduction for low-light photos making them look clean and sharp. And if you are working with an older subject, it can even reduce age appearance by a good 20 years. All right, let's dive into the workflow itself. I'll link the download in the description below so you can try it out for free. For this setup, I'm using the FP8 version of the Flux-based model, which is only 11 gigabytes. I've paired it with a Turbo LoRa. This makes it possible to generate images in just eight steps. So it's super fast. To get started, upload the photo. The resize image for SDXL node on the right scales the image to SDXL size, keeping the closest aspect ratio. While this workflow doesn't use the SDXL model directly, some nodes need the SDXL size format. Next, there's a sharp and a soft node that lets you fine tune the sharpness. If your image has a lot of noise, you can set this to soft or very soft to smooth it out. Moving on, there's an automatic adjustment node that handles brightness, contrast, and luminance based on the strength settings you choose. Right next to it, we've got nodes that generate prompts automatically. Further down, there are two groups of nodes that use RF inversion. I've actually done a previous video on RF inversion, so if you want to explore more uses for that technology, I'll link that video below. I won't go into detail about those nodes here. Now if we zoom in, you might notice that while the skin is smooth, the texture might look a bit too soft or unrealistic. To fix this, I've added another node on the right that blends back some of the original details. You can adjust the factor parameter to control how much of the original detail you want to bring back. Let's zoom in again to see the difference. With the original details blended in, the skin texture looks more natural and realistic. Next up is another group of nodes for enhancing texture. There's a sharp and soft node here as well, so you can choose to make the image sharper or softer based on your preference. After that, we upscale the image, bring it to a new size. Here you'll see it's now at 1664 by 2432. When we zoom in, you can see the image has gained sharpness and improved texture. Then. On the right, we have an Image Lucy Sharpen node for even more sharpening. But be careful not to overdo it. Just a bit sharper than natural is good enough. We still have one more step where we'll repaint with SD 1.5. For the repainting, keep the denoising strength low. Around 0.3 should be perfect. If we compare this final result to the original image, you can see a huge improvement in the overall beautification, right? And that's it. I hope this helps you get better results with your portraits. Give it a try and let me know how it works for you.